In part D, we want to use Euler's method starting at x equals negative 1 with two steps of equal size to approximate f of 0. So recall that with Euler's method we need an x and a y. Then we have the, the value of the derivative at that xy. Then we have some change in x. Then we have some change in y that comes as a product of the rate times the change in x. Then we're going to calculate a new x based on the original x plus the change in x and a new y which comes from the original y plus the change in y. And you recall that we're starting off at x equals negative 1 and y equals negative 4. Since we're going from x equals negative 1 to x equals 0 we want to use steps of positive one-half. Now we've already calculated the value of dy dx at x equals negative 1 and y equals negative 4 and that was 6 above. And so delta y is just 6 times one-half which is 3. And now we calculate our new x which is negative 1 plus one-half which gives us negative one-half. And our new y which was negative 4 plus delta y, which is 3, that gives us negative 1. And so now we need to calculate um, dy dx when x is negative 1 half and y is negative 1. And you recall that dy dx is 5x squared minus 6 over y minus 2. And when x is equal to negative 1 half, we square that, we get 1 fourth. So we're, gonna, we're going to get 5 fourths. Then we have minus 6 over negative 1 minus 2, so it's minus 6 over negative 3. So negative 6 over negative 3 gives us a positive 2. So 5 fourths plus 8 fourths will give us 13 fourths. Our delta x is still 1 half. We multiply the two together, we're going to get 13 eighths. And our new x value is 0, which is where we want to be to end up. And the new y value is negative 1 plus 13 eighths. So 8 eighths will get us back to 0. And we'll still have 5 eighths left over. And so we estimate that f of 0 will be 5 eighths using Euler's method here. And that wraps up this problem.